got back, we got done grocery shopping at Whole Foods, spent about 150 bucks on two bags worth of food. I also picked up Miss Roxanne, who's already on the couch. And I also finally got to pick up the gun that I bought, I don't know, like a month ago. So I ordered it. Um, I had to wait a while for it to come in. And then I had to go and do the background check, which takes about 10 days. And then I could pick it up. So today was the day I got to pick it up. Now I'm gonna take it all out of the package and do all that fun stuff. But first I'm gonna put away the groceries because that's what adults do. They do priorities first. So let me just move you guys here. Yeah, that should be good enough. I'll do a quick grocery haul, even though this is from across the room. So we got two things of bagels. I got everything bagels and plain bagels. I always put them in the freezer because they just last longer. So throwing that in there. We got a thing of blueberries. We got three things of zucchini, which I'm gonna actually put over here in the sink because I gotta wash them. We got some romaine hearts, or a heart of romaine, whatever you wanna call it. We got some French green beans. Two things of onions, a few sweet potatoes. We got some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. I honestly don't know what the difference is. Let's keep going. We got some snow peas. Let's throw this one right in there. And then we got a gazillion. Hold on, the water's probably annoying you guys. We have a gazillion different yogurts. I'm actually gonna come close to you guys. So this one used to be a standard that I would pick up because it is only 80 calories and it is vanilla unsweetened. So I just put some stevia into it to sweeten it up a little bit and some fruit. This is another staple. I usually get blueberry flavored, but they didn't have it. So I picked up a few of these. I like this brand because it has six grams of protein per one of these, which I thought was pretty high, but I found this new brand. Well, it's not a new brand because I buy other products from this brand, but I've never brought their yogurt because I didn't realize that they made yogurt. So they make, I bought three of these, which is vanilla unsweetened, kind of just like the other one, but they have 11 grams of protein in them and they're Greek styled. I haven't been able to find a vegan Greek style yogurt in forever. So that is very exciting. And then I also found that they have Kite Hill protein ones, which have 10 uh, grams of protein in it for only 130 calories, where the Greek style one is 160. And then the silk one is only 130. I don't know what I got on my leg, but that was bag one. Let me actually move all that into the fridge. Close this for now. All right. On to bag number two. So I already ate one of these, but these have been my new favorite protein bars are these Nugo, um, vegan gluten free. They didn't have as many flavors as usual. Whole Foods had to buy three, get one free. So I got three of the mint and then three of the, uh, one of the chocolate pretzel. And then I discovered these the other day. One bar used to be my favorite protein bars. And for the longest time, I didn't know that they made plant-based ones until yesterday or the day before. So I already picked up some of these the other day when I was at Dave's Market, but they're a lot cheaper at Whole Foods. So I got three of the chocolate peanut butter, one of the banana nut bread. I already have some in my cabinet, like I said, and three, technically four, because I already ate one of these ones of churro. Very delicious. They are on the thinner side. They're only 160 calories, uh, seven grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and 12 protein. So not as high as the standard bar, but it's also thinner than the standard bar. So that makes sense. Cause I think the standard one has like 18 to 21 grams of protein, somewhere in there. So I picked these up. And then the rest is basically, I believe, 
mostly old freezer stuff, except for this, I got some sour cream, because I'm gonna make some taco salads. So I got sour cream, I got this cream cheese that I've yet to try. I've had the brand, which the brand's good, but garden veggie. We got some pepper jack bacon cheese. We got, I've also never had these, but chipotle lime crispy chicken fingers. Chicken, chicken. Throw that in there. Throw this up in here. We got one, two, three, four packages of Beyond Meat burgers. We're actually going to put some, I think it's going to go 28, so we're actually going to put them in the fridge because I'll just cook them up as we go. Put it in the fridge. We got Not A Moon ice cream, two of them. This is my favorite flavor of any and all ice creams, which is mint chip. But I also found that they have a pumpkin pie. These are both very melted right now, so I'm not the happiest of campers, but it is what it is. Throw that in here. Alright. We got some more French style green beans, but I found them as frozen, so I wanted to try them out. We got some beefless grounds. And then we got two things of stir fry blend. And that concludes the shopping haul. So my fridge is not the cleanest, but I'll let you guys check it out real quick. Freezer is also pretty packed down there. I have a bunch of alcohol, which I have not drank in probably, I don't know, I've been on a diet for six weeks. I think I drank one time and it was only a couple drinks and that was while we were out. So those have been in there for over two months. Um, yeah, like I said, I already had some of these in here. I got chocolate coconut as well. And then I had a bunch of these already. So we're just gonna throw all these up and in here. Doesn't need to look really pretty. It's not going to, even if I wanted it to. All right, good enough. All right, I'm gonna let the vegetables in here, you know, continue cleaning themselves. All I do for this is put water in it and then some um, vinegar and let them soak for about five to 10 minutes let them dry, and then that's when I put them away. Good enough. All right. All right, so I picked up a brand new Glock 19 Gen 5. It came with three different magazines and some grips and a bunch of other little things that came in the case along with the lock and all that fun stuff. But I am very, very excited about this. Finally, having something in the house for safety purposes. Also, I miss going to the range, so this is the first of many guns to add to the collection, but because it is my first gun that I'm actually purchasing, it just made sense to get something for the house first. Um, after this, I'll probably get some others, maybe a 45, um, maybe a 22 just so that when I take people to the range with me, I can start them off on the 22. Um, an AR, that would also be nice. So yeah, that's all I really had to catch you up on today. But now that I do have a gun, now I'm gonna start looking into local ranges that I can buy a membership to. So be on the lookout for future videos of me being at the shooting range and doing more fun, cool things other than just working and taking the dog for a walk. I'm going to go eat lunch now. I will see you guys in the next video.